Hi guys, welcome to the final, the final, the last finito fatal. I don't know if that was even the correct term, but it is the last Fatal, guys, of FIFA 17 Ultimate Team. It's adios for Fatal after this one, guys, and that'll be us done till probably the, before Christmas, you know, for the uh, FIFA 18 Fatal. So the last one went down like an absolute treat. You guys loved it, participated in the comment section, um, supporting the YouTubers, supporting me as well. Fatal Champion. We were able to get one finally of FIFA 17 and uh, we are back this time guys with another one. Now the differences between the last one and the last one sorry and this one is the fact that we are going to be using every single card available to you on uh, available to us sorry on FIFA 17 Ultimate Team. So it's not themed around team of season, it's not themed around team of the year, it's not themed around all that good stuff. It's every card. YouTubers have done the selections. I've done the selection of mine as well. And uh, in a couple of minutes' time, guys, you will find out which YouTubers have got which. And it'll be uploaded Saturday and Sunday. First episode. Then, this is episode zero. This is the rules. Getting it all out of the way, guys. If you've enjoyed the videos and uh, enjoy the series, guys, like it on the video is sick. Subscribe to me. Subscribe to all the other YouTubers, including the new ones as well in the series. Fuji is returning back um, after he did say he wanted to be in this one. And uh, there's a few left, but I will go over that later on. As there's no personal reasons as to why they were asked to be coming back. But there is one reason which I will talk to you about in a little bit. So if you do want the MSP, PSN codes or cheap game codes guys go and check out g2a.com their link is down below if we can try and hit over 6,000 likes guys for fatal returning that'd be awesome and uh, yeah let's go and get into the rules the nitty gritty stuff before you go and see the team that i'm using so the rules here we go guys and the rules are correct as of now there was a few mistakes in the last series but they've been sorted now so hopefully everybody does understand starting team on episode one must have 10 silver players they can be team of season team silver players team of uh, sorry any type of steel, silver player they're able to have them plus one fatal player which the youtuber will select by himself play two games each episode the games will be added together this time so if you lose a game one and then win game two you deduct losses from game one and from the winnings from game two the game type is online single matches versus full chemistry teams only that's some of which was actually all right this past time and it was actually one rule broken i think in the uh, pro fatal uh, where somebody um actually i think it was tass uh, didn't play against a full chem team no coins carry over that's a given sbc player of the year player of the month end of era alex hunter footies unlockable team of the seasons are all valued at 100,000 coins so red cards they don't count uh untradeable team of seasons which you've packed they don't count either and there's a maximum of two of them which can go into your starting 11. That doesn't make, make sh like if you see it come up against Team SBC, they can go on the bench, but only two maximum in the starting 11. And at the end of each episode, the winnings, you offer your viewers a choice of two pairings to add to the team. For example, Quadrado and Baca, or Koke and Williams. And obviously the coin total will uh, decide which players get offered. We built, some, we built a pretty sick team, guys, um, in the last Fatal, and hopefully we can do the same again in the next. That's rules one, three more pages to go through so these are where the coins i've added together guys coins for goals scored 30,000 coins coins for goals scored with team of season player or the team of season player slash fatal player that's 50,000 coins so the marquee player the youtuber chooses gets 50k per goal coins deducted for conceding a goal minus 30,000 coins a win on um, penalties is 30,000 coins a loss on penalties is minus 30,000 coins first half rage quit minimum 10 in-game minutes 100,000 coins second half rage quit 75,000 coins extra time rage quit 50,000 coins so still a little bit of money to be made for the YouTuber there. When the opponent puts a controller down, the maximum you can score is four goals. It also counts for rage quit when the fourth goal is scored. If the player returns to the game, it resumes as normal. Rage quits before 10 in-game minutes do not count and another game must be played. We had that in my series last time round as well. If the opponent starts scoring on goals, you can only count four of them to your coin balance, just so we don't get any crazy, uh, so people point out cheating. You know? If you receive a red card of any player in the series, they must be replaced with a bronze card for one game and um, every upgrade in the series is a gold player minimum so it's not silver to silver silver to bronze it's got to be silver to gold that's the way it does work so this was a screen which confused a few people now the knockout format guys is a best of three player friend games ending extra time and pens that's how the results are decided if you draw at 90 minutes so 90 minute result that doesn't matter it's all about who's the winner um, at the end of the game so if someone's winning at 90th minute that's a win if someone's drawing at 90th minute extra time and pens decide the the outcome of that result the first of two wins progresses 
it happened in the final. My, uh, I lost the first game. I won the second game. The third game then took us to uh, then took us to the third and final game, and I won that one as well against Mav Wolves. Played Mario. I think I beat him twice in a row. So first the two wins. That's how it does work. And just to avoid any confusion in the future, guys, this rule page has been cleaned up. And the final one, and one we're still getting to grips with, guys, it is the substitution. Substitutes are now allowed in the series, but will be added through a selection process. In the episodes where you play two games, each starting eleven you play is important, as you guys do know. If you beat the team in the episode, one of the starting eleven can be selected as a substitute for your own team. If you beat both teams in the episode, or one of the twenty-two players from both starting 11s and I must point out guys only the starting 11 players are eligible for selection and um, can be selected if you already have a version of one of your opponent's players in your team he isn't eligible for selection obviously when a sub is locked into your team then you are unable to select him for your starting 11 via the upgrade process this happened to me with Kante as well and that's why I've cleared it up so if you guys vote for a substitute to go into my bench I can offer him as a selection in future episodes for him to hit the starting 11 he's just limited to the sub bench there. Sub players, um, sub players can only be used from the 45th minute onwards and uh, well half time and onwards and the fatal player cannot be subbed off. Lasty broke that rule in the last series if you guys didn't know. It's important to know that the viewers will choose that one substitute from the video not the YouTuber so that gets you guys more involved than we want. Well <laughs> I want you guys more involved in the series so I think uh, there's a few troll people out there but hopefully guys you uh, do do us fair, you know? And now we move on to the YouTubers. Now, there is something I'm going to clear up now um, before people get a little bit antsy as to why certain people aren't back in the series. Coin sponsors has become an issue with the series. Now, the last series itself was on Footwiz. I'm unsure whether this one is going to go on to Footwiz yet or not, um, but Footwiz hosted it for me, but they left the coin sponsored YouTubers blanked out. Now, to go forward, guys, I've actually made this series not um, any anyone with a coin sponsor isn't in it, and uh, therefore, I'm just wanting to keep this cl series clean. I did a coin sponsor. You guys know that. I'm not beating around the bush, um, but I learned from my mistakes, you know, so... Going forward, I want this series to be clean and uh, f competition friendly, you know, so um, people with coin sponsors haven't been invited back, uh, but hopefully your favourite YouTubers are still in it. Bateson. I chose Pele. Yes, champions uh, thing on my name as well. Pele was my choice, even though I did put up a Twitter poll the other day asking which one you want, and you all selected Gerard. I was like, nah, I want Pele. I want to use Pele, guys, because I'm more likely won't get to use him in FIFA 18. Mav Wolves has selected Team of the Year Ronaldo. Nick 28T has gone with Hullet. Spin Bros has gone with Team of the Season Ibrahimovic. David Myler has gone with the 95 rated turquoise David Myler. DJ Mario, the only returning Spanish guy, uh, now doesn't have a coin sponsor. He's gone with Team of this season, uh, team of the year, Suarez. Uh, we have got Marshall going with Dembele, team of the season, and Kazui, the skiller, has gone with SBC Premium, El Sharari with them five star skills. And the final bunch, guys, and a few newbies to the series itself. Lasty is a returner, he has gone with Mertens, the team of the season, Chesnoid, a uh. I would say an offline YouTuber. You guys uh, may know him from, uh, I can't remember what the mode's called now. Manager mode or something? I don't know. It's the offline game mode for FIFA. He does do a bit of element team, but he's gone with player of the month, um, uh, player of the month Costa. And I think Chesnoid actually got a picture with Costa uh, when when that get one went did go on. And the Pentfez has gone with Team of the Season Eden Hazard. Zwerbat's gone with Team of the Season Alexis Sanchez. Fuji returning for the second series of uh, for the second time, sorry, of the Fatal series. He's gone with Team of the Season Lacazette. Brooksy returning for the second time as well has gone with 89 rated Sun. Uh, Bukami still hasn't selected his player, but he's a newbie into the series. And Footwiz Dan. Footwiz Dan has joined the team, guys, and he has gone with Team of the Season Lionel Messi as his fatal player. So that's the selection process, the rules, everything else like that covered. If you guys don't understand anything, comment down below, guys. I'm sure someone will be able to help you out. Um, yeah, again, no apologies. Um for some people not being invited back guys but I want this series to work and get bigger and bigger and the only way to do that is to keep it clean and that's the way we are going to do it so with that said guys let's go and get an introduction to my team with Pele so guys we have gone with the Brazilian team you're seeing Pele there you're seeing uh, Inform Farias Inform Suarez as well Su I don't know, Su Suarez uh, up front as well we've got Piers on uh, we have uh, Silva who I don't think is going to be in FIFA 18 and we've also got Felipe Augusto to complete the midfield we've got dalbert who's actually signed for inter milan as of today as i'm making this video but he does have a gold card so this is the one before the uh, before the upgrade we've got anderson 
We've got Samia, two pretty medium pace centre backs. We've got Inform Matos at right back and Gabriel in the goalkeeper position. Now, I'm not 100% sure which way you guys are going to go with the picks and stuff like that. So, we'll have to wait and see as to whether we're going to go Brazilian all the way throughout the team or what not. So, it's going to be interesting to see which way you guys do decide to go with the voting. I will offer it fair as I always do. Full Brazil team could be pretty weak in some areas, but... Legends link with everyone, you know, so we've got plenty of choices to do it and uh, hopefully we do get some nice ones Everyone's on 10 chem. The only things I've got to change is the player instructions and work rates um, Not the work rates, sorry, player instructions and uh, and Player instructions and custom tactics. That's the only things I've got to change going forward with this So this is my team going into it guys. Let me know if you think I've got a good chance for Pele already made a stupid amount of loss on him buying him for that much anyway 43 games 28 goals 14 assists mainly from the substitute players and uh, if we take a look at his price guys he's actually not lost much he did drop down to around two and a half million at one point but it'd be nice to see this 95 rate Pele move out and see what happens with it so guys if you enjoyed the video enjoyed the fatal series so far and excited to see the team that i'm using feel free to leave a like rating saturday morning guys episode number one will be up make sure you come back take advantage and take a look at what players i have selected until then guys check out all the other youtubers thank you very much for your consistent support throughout the fatal series since fifa 13 hopefully you guys have enjoyed it subscribe comment like guys see you all on saturday for episode number one